I started out the day by recording some shaman gameplay with the darkness, but man, I could just not win a game with that. So I ended up net decking what looked to be a pretty cool quest priest deck. You've got Awaken the Makers and Nazoth to be expected, but you've also got Weasel Tunnelers, and things that make more Weasel Tunnelers, including Nazoth and Herald Village. I had to craft a Herald Village for this deck, so it better be some good gameplay. But yeah, Quest Priest got a lot of cool tools in this expansion. Weasel Tunneler's pretty dope, he's rotating out soon, so it's nice to get some more gameplay with him. I must admit, I'm not entirely sure how we win games with this deck, but apparently it has a pretty decent win rate. Keep the quest. I'm not really sure how I win against Control Warlock. Weasel Tunnelers, I guess. What if I just use my Crystalline Oracles and Mirage Callers for more Crystalline Oracles and I just steal Gul'dan and like double Void Lord? That'd be pretty dope. Seems like a pretty easy loot hoarder. Trades with this guy, gives me a card. Okay, this is a really defensive list, maybe even an Azoth list. It's kind of scary. Let's use a post and a man just to trade here. I killed the Plated Beetle on my side of the board because it's a better Nazoth res for me and for him. These weasels. Give me some playable cards. Doomsayer. It's kind of playable. Hey, Void Lord. Let's just weasel him. 5 out of 7 on this quest already? Do I want to just play the Doomsayer here? Like, it's pretty bad if he just plays a Possessed Lackey into it, so I guess I don't. Probably just want to cycle the Foulness. I feel like he would have played a lackey there if he had it. Nice weasel idiot. I mean, Nazoth is good, but it doesn't really give me a play this turn. I think I'm just gonna pass. I don't really want to play Doomsayer and then allow him to throw a possessed lackey into it. I think there's a good chance he would have played one last turn, but I think I also want to save my Potion of Madness for a lackey if I can. That wasn't something I was really considering with the first one, but it should have been on my mind. Four mana, three, three. Bleas is a playable here. So I need to find a turn eight, but I think Turn 9 is almost always Void Lord, and turn 10 is usually Nazoth. Oh, okay. Well, if he discards my Nazoth, which almost always happens, I don't think I can win. Questioning if he wants to just throw away the Plated Beetle to make me discard one more card. He should. What the fuck? Was that the play? Well, I lost Nazoth, so I guess I'm on the double Elise plan. That's a lot of Ungoro cards. Still got two Shadow Visions in the deck, too. Oh, well, the Shadow Visions in this deck are really, really consistent. 
It only plays Potion of Madness, the pack, Twilight's Call, and Psychic Scream. Do I donate a Weasel Tunneler to his deck? I guess I probably do, right? Hopefully he draws that Weasel instead of his Gul'dan. Sure. Play a Doomsayer into it, I guess. If Doomsayer can blow that up, I'd be pretty happy. It also punishes him if he wants to play Gul'dan this turn. Okay. So there's probably a good chance he just wants to play Gul'dan next turn. Do I just cube my Amara here? I have a pretty sick Herald Village follow-up. Sure. That deck shouldn't have a silence. So I think I can usually copy my guy next turn. I think it's pretty unlikely he would send all of his stuff into it and just give me two 8-8 taunts. If he knows the deck I'm playing, though, he might. Despicable Dreadlord. Is this not a possessed lackey list? Just straight up control warlock. He's playing the Stone Hills, the Mistresses, the Plated Beetles. That makes sense, I guess. I haven't seen a deck like this in a while, though. Can find the pack really consistently with this. Um, Psychic Scream. No, I don't want to scream my cube. That seems shitty. Twilight's Call is not that strong, I guess. It's gotta just be the pack. I'll just pack instead of healing here. Explore and Goro. Well, I think it definitely has to be Harold Village here. This cube is just too good. Overall, I don't think that was a very good Ungoro pack. The giant anaconda is like really shitty. Swamp King Dread's pretty good. Glacial Shard's nice and flexible, but everything else is bad. I mean, I guess a four mana five four is never that terrible. So you have Twisting Nether. Oh right, those have taunt, so he can't get at the second cube. Oh, he has coil nether. He's even gonna donate the weasel to my deck. I don't know. I feel like maybe it would have been good to have a 1-1 on the board. Can Shadow Visions for another pack? I mean sure. Do I want to play this? Freezing his face doesn't really do anything. This guy's pretty big. This is off, of course. Well, my hand really sucks, so I think I just play the other pack. Don't know what I'm hoping to hit. I mean, this card's really good, right? See what I can pick up off Hallucination. I think Hellfire is really good. I have so many more cards in my deck than him, holy shit. It's gonna be pretty hard for me to beat Blood River Gul'dan though. Probably need some sick Carnivorous Cube value play. I guess I have the Scream for the actual Gul'dan turn, which helps. But it's just that hero power, it's so gross. And if I Scream, he's gonna basically catch up as far as Fatigue goes. So I think he definitely wins the Fatigue matchup. Unless this thing hits me a uh, Blood River Gul'dan, that'd be nice. Oh, Rin. Well, Rin is not fun. It's 
Stonehill Defender's decent. Probably just Scream this board, I guess. I have the second Scream, and I really don't want to fuck with Ren. Could commit to a line of play where I just never play Psychic Scream and try to fatigue him. But I just don't really think that's very reasonable. But like, how do I win if I do play Psychic Scream? Feels like I'm in such a shitty spot. I mean, I guess I'm still winning fatigue really hard by screaming here. But I think I'm absolutely going to have to scream the Gul'dan turn. What is Elvina's will? I'm just gonna hope he doesn't draw a Blood River Gul'dan, I guess. Lich King is probably like one of the best I could have discovered, maybe even better than Obsidian Statue. So, absolutely not winning the Fatigue game at this point. Although really, the stuff he pulled from that's not super scary. Maybe I don't have to Psychic Scream. I wonder. Let's just play out some of the garbage here. Things a 5-4, you can just send four guys into it. I guess I just want 1-1s, one so I don't really know. Try to play Lich King somewhere where it might live. Second Dreadlord. Could be worse. I guess I'm just playing Lich King here. It's not great, but I don't really have another play that's any good. Could have gone for like a giant anaconda, and then maybe it would have pulled out the Lich King for me. But like if that happens, then I'm still probably getting at best one card out of it. So that just seems kind of bad. Just play it out here as an 8 mana 8 8. Alright. I feel like it might have just been better to leave my Lich King on one, hero power my 5-4, and let this guy do his work. Let's see what I got off the Twilight's call. Pretty underwhelming. Could be a decent turn to play Sunkeeper Tarim. Shrinks both of his guys, prevents my guys from dying to the Despicable Dreadlord. Hopefully my Crystal and Oracle lives here, and the next turn I can go for Mirage Caller, Plated Beetle, Anti-Magic Shell. This isn't very good this turn, but it's definitely going to be an important card this game. Kill that thing so he loses a Voidwalker out of it, I guess. I've only seen one Nether, if I remember correctly, so I think Nether might come down here pretty often. But he has to kill a lot of his own stuff, and I get two Crystal and Oracle cards. Alright, no Twisting Nether, so my board is actually pretty gross. Oh, he's got a Defile set up, that makes a lot of sense. I'll take his word for it that it's a clear. Really shitty Crystal and Oracle cards. Alright, not the scariest card he could have gotten from that. Do I want to just get Shadow Reaper Anduin in play? Start hero powering his face? Or do I want to start hero powering his dudes? The thing is, if I play Shadow Reaper and he can just start hero powering my face. Wonder. Although I do have this thing for a bit of healing, I'll be at 35. I can use the Shadow Reaper and to kill the final two demons that he summons from Rin, I guess. But I don't think it really kills anything else. I've seen Nazoth and Gul'dan. I'm just gonna play Anduin here. I don't know if this is right. It definitely could be a game-losing play. But this hero power is really strong, and it takes him a lot of turns to hero power me to death, even though his hero power is really good. 
And if he starts pushing too much minion damage, I still have quite a bit of room to just play Psychic Scream, since he's six cards deeper than me. If I was paying more attention, I would probably know how many of these ten cards are Weasel Tunnelers, and that would probably be pretty helpful. But all I really know at this point is that this one's a Weasel Tunneler. Apparently this one's also a Weasel Tunneler, so that's nice. I need... oh well, that actually puts more cards in my deck, so he's not concerned about fatigue at this point, I guess. Which is probably pretty reasonable. Um, I have seven cards in hand. It's pretty difficult to play the pack here, actually. I guess I could just throw away a Weasel Tunneler. Helps him out a bit, but he helped me out a bit, so it's only fair, right? I'll just play a Weasel here if I have to. got another release. What is this? An Emerald Reaver? Well, I can play the Emerald Reaver instead of the Weasel Tunneler, so I'll do that. Could've played the Crystal and Oracle, but if it dies, I overdraw. And I don't think I want to overdraw my Angoro pack, or a Twilight's Call, or a Carnivorous Cube, or a Mirage Caller. I have a lot of pretty good cards left in the deck. Hmm, Rin. I wonder if I just want to Psychic Scream Ren. Can I beat Azari? It's probably pretty tough. I'm just gonna Scream here. I want to delay the Ren as long as possible. Which is why I also gave him the Emerald Reaver, even though I'm a little bit worried about fatigue wasn't in love with putting the extra card in his deck, but if he draws that instead of Ren, I'm pretty happy. Why do I have so many Weasel Tunnelers in my hand? This jungle hides many secrets. I could have held this for after Azari, but I'm kind of hoping it just doesn't come to that point. I still have two Hungoro packs in my deck, which is ridiculous. Really hoping that one of those can give me a heal. Were there any good heals in Ungoro? Can't really think of too many off the top of my head. Hmm. No play, huh? Just gonna play stuff here, I guess. I do need to keep up enough pressure that he doesn't feel comfortable hero-powering my face. I think that's important to me winning this game. I wonder if he's scared of this anaconda at all. Looks like he's not. Side effects. No. Trust me. Cool, he drew that Emerald Reaver I gave him. I do need to get some cards out of my hand for the other Angoro packs when I draw them. How good is Mirage Caller at this point? I can use it to copy a cube, which could be really strong. Same with Molten Reflection. But I don't think... I guess drawing cards with loot order isn't that big of a deal. I still have eight cards in my deck. I'll just play out a loot order here. I don't think it's that big of a deal. Get to push a little bit of face damage. I could even Mirage Caller a loot order, but I don't know how good that is. Whatever. I need to get cards out of my hand. And, uh... It's probably going to be hard to line that up on a cube anyway. Fucking Rin. He only has two cards left in his deck, though. I have seven in hand, so I do need to get something out of the way to play this pack. I really don't want to play, like, any of this stuff, though. Probably just going to start by getting a loot order card. I don't know why I hero powered first. That didn't make any sense. These fucking weasel tunnelers, dude. What is real? I'm gonna copy this thing, I guess. Because I really don't want more loot order cards. I still have two more weasel tunnelers in the deck. Of my remaining 13 cards, six of them are weasel tunnelers. If he's valuing his hero power every turn, it's going to take him a really long time to finish his thing. 
which is good for me. Well, I'm definitely hero powering that. What am I using this Brewmaster on? Maybe something out of one of these packs? These loot hoarders are clogging my hand, man. But I can't kill them. Or I can't play them and let them die. Let's just beat him down with my board of 1-1s. One Double seal or seal hero power? Double seal. Makes sense. Can I just, like, start killing him? Three, four, five, six, seven. It says my, f my opponent's out of cards, but he appears to have cards in his deck. Am I wasting time by killing these? Alright. Beating him up. I'm not playing Weasel Tunnelers. I'm showing 9 damage, so if he just plays the two seals, he's gonna die. He might die even if he hero powers this guy. He's at 16, I've still got 6 on board. No, there's no way I can deal 10 next turn. But I can probably just full push face. Doomsayer. It seems like I have so many plays with this many cards in my hand, but I just don't. Maybe I should have just played this a long time ago. Just give up one of my Angora packs to kill off these weasels. I don't know if I can just go face here, but I'm going to. He might still have a dark pact that would heal him for a lot. He might still have a spell stone. Probably shouldn't go too all in on his face. I'm gonna throw out the Doomsayer here, because I'm drawing a card off Loot Order and I don't want to overdraw my Twilight's Call or Cube or something. Wait, do I still have more Weasel Tunnelers in the deck? No, it should just be the pack in the cube. The deck Tracker does not work well with Weasel Tunnelers. Okay, that's going face. Hey! Holy shit, how long was that game? 